Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to rock and roll. For those about to rock, I salute you. For those about to rock, I salute you. Because we're going to see how to do, uh, if you want to take this whole course, by the way, right here, we're going to see how to do web programming with Go. This is what we've been building up to. This is like the penultimate moment you've been working towards all semester because you're going to see kind of how it's all put together and uh, and we're going to do it mostly all the time with handle funk uh, uh. and that's what Bruno Mars was originally singing about but then he just shortened it to uptown funk you up it used to be uptown handle funk you up but he decided to change the song. This is what we just built in the previous video. I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to get rid of my, my handler stuff, right? My handle handler, gone. And then handle funk, I'm just going to recreate that. I'm going to recreate this. Okay? So I'm just going to get, like, here's where I start out. And the first thing that I do, HP, listen and serve. Give it the address. Default serve mux. Boom, y'all know it. And what adds handlers to the default serve mux? Handle funk. Handle funk. Handle funk's gonna take in a pattern. There's route home. And it's gonna take in a, a handle. Ha, handle funk takes in pan, ha, pa, bleh, bleh. Handle funk takes in a pattern. And it takes in a value of type funk with this signature, right? That's the value of a value of that type. So it's a func function. So I'm going to pass in a handler, and that handler I'm going to call this one home. I'm going to come down here and do funk home, and it's going to have a response writer, and it's going to have a pointer to a HTTP request. And uh, now I'm going to do like io.writeString to that. I'm going to say hello from home. Sweet. I want to add a new route to my web app. I want an about page. No problem. I'm going to do func about HTTP response writer and then a pointer to an HTTP request. And I'm going to do io.writeString. And I'm going to do what's up from about. Cool, I want another page to add to my website. hp.handlefunk. And it's going to be contact. And we're going to run it at that route. What do we want to have happen to that route? Well, I need a function with this signature. and a pointer to an HP request. Uh, I could use format, file print, and writer, and what I want to print is, you know, get in touch with us, yo, here at contact. And then I could go launch this page. Oh, that worked. You know, I have space. Hello from home. About contact. For those about to run. Right? Because you're about to rock. Like, that's it. And now that doesn't look foreign anymore. You understand listen and serve. Cool. I pass in my TCP address. You understand TCP is what's happening beneath all of this HTTP stuff. And you give it nil. Nil's not some mystery thing you pass in. You know that HTTP listen and serve takes a handler there. You know what type handler is. 
serve HTTP, response writer, pointer to request. That is like if you are if you've had like three beers and you're you're walking from the bar and the police officer says, "Excuse me, son," and they give you the like, "Are you too drunk to be in public?" test. You know what they they should ask you is like, "I want you to tell me what type handler is." And you'll be like, "Oh, that's a serve HTTP response writer pointer to a request." They'll be like, "Okay, go on your way." Right? You know what type handler is? Serve HTTP response writer pointer to a request. Right? Type handler. Serve HTTP response writer pointer to a request. You know that if you throw that in, you're using default serve mux. And default serve mux was default serve mux. Right? Default serve mux. Uh, you know, is like, you know, the default server, and you could use handle or handle func to add handler, so we could use handle func, and then we just have functions like this all day long, so we use handle func, and then we just have functions like this all day long, response right or pointer to request. Why? Because on in the web, you got requests, and then you got to write a response to them, and this is the function that handles it. And so then I just use like IO write string, which will write to a writer, or fprint, which will write to a writer. And I write back my string or I write back my HTML. And then I start to put templates into it. We'll do that in the next video. If you want to take this whole course and support my work, uh, like if 100,000 of you, which is like how many and more have watched these YouTube videos, just come by this course, then I get to devote all my time to making more cool content. So please totally come by this course. Because if 100,000 of you do it, that's 1.9 million, and all I get to do all day long is go and make videos and help deliver. So please come by these courses. And seriously, thank you.